So now let's see how to use the steps recorder inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So to open up steps recorder, I can go to type here to set section right here and I'm going to type in steps and steps recorder pops up. So let me just click on it and step recorder opens up. So what steps recorder does is it takes in screenshot as you click uh, and carry out some process. So you can store it out as uh, to remember something on the process that you do on a computer or you can send it out as a guide to someone that you know for help. So before I click on start recording, I'm going to go over here on to settings right over here and then I'm going to click on settings. So once I go to settings, I usually like to keep the number of recent screen capture to 999 so that it doesn't stop on the midway. That's the maximum amount of screenshot that it can store. I can also choose where to save the output file. So I'm going to save it on my desktop right over here as a zip file. The file name would be Twitter Tube, just like that. So that's OK. So now I'm going to start recording. So as I want to start recording the steps, I can click on Start Record. And now whatever I do, it'll start recording the steps. So I'm going to go to Start right here. And then I'm going to go to WordPad, just like this, so WordPad open that out and then on wordpad i'm going to type uh, a sentence just like this so i'm just you doing my daily tasks and let's say i want to give a comment at the section to the end user or to remember by yourself i'm going to add a comment and now i can select the area so i'm going to select this area right here and i'm going to say something like this uh, is where the main settings are located just like this and I'm going to press OK. So once I do that, a comment has been added in that section. Now I'm going to go to file right here. I'm going to press save as I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to save it out. I'm going to close the document. So these are the steps which are actually followed up. So now I'm going to stop the record and let's see what happens. So once I stop the record, a zip file actually appeared on the desktop because that is where we saved the file. So if I were to double click on it, a folder will open and there's the document right over here. So if I were to double click on that, it opens up in Microsoft, uh, uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer. So that is how it opens up like. So I'm just going to go around here. I'm going to go current settings. OK, ask me later. It's like that. All right, there you go. So over here, you can see that these are the steps. So now it also recorded my other screen because I got two screens, one for actually record, uh, seeing how the recording act is actually going. So you can see that this is how step recorder actually worked out. So you have the start right here. You can click it to actually expand this out as well. And over here, you'll be able to see how everything works like just like this. And as I click it, it'll go back to normal right over here. So this is the step one. Step two, you can see that it also renames it out. Uh, so step one, user left click on start menu. Step two, user keyboard input on Cortana. And then user three, user left click on WordPad. And user left click on its uh, text window right here. User input. Uh, and just like that, you can see that all the steps are recorded right over here. And the comment is actually highlighted as well. You can see that I added in a comment right over here. So it highlighted this area as you can see, and it has the comment. This is where the main settings are located. Use a left click on file tab, use a left click and all of the areas which I actually interacted with. You can see that the green area is highlighting that area just like this. So this is how you can actually record each of the screenshots and uh, without having you uh, requiring to manually write everything. What you can do is you can just do this and send it to the end user for support just like that. So just like that additional details are also given here. That's really good. So all of the steps are recorded as you can see. So step one, user left click on the start button. It goes to program and then accesses the uh, taskbar and some of the, this might be technical, but all of the things are recorded as you can see right here. All the steps are recorded. The word pad is opened up and so forth. So just like that, you don't have to do manual documentation. So you want to record your steps, you can use the steps recorder and get such results. So that is how you use steps recorder in Windows 10. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.